Good morning everyone. I am Teacher Christine from Rosario Elementary School. I am beyond delighted to virtually stand here in front of you today as I present our science investigatory project proposal entitled Briquette Production from Waste Paper and Coconut Shell Admixtures for Tinapa Making. Before I proceed, I would like to introduce the other researchers responsible for this study. Uh, Ma'am Myla Esgo, the main proponent. She is a grade 4 teacher. Ma'am Emeline Tayaban and Sir Jeremy Garro, both grade 3 teachers from Rosario Elementary School. So the contents or flow of presentation will be the following. So first, I will be tackling the background of the study followed by the statement of the problem, significance of the study, the scope and limitation, and the last one is the methodology which includes research design, research instrument, and statistical analysis. Going forward, let's proceed to the introduction or background of the study. Municipality of Rosario is known to have the finest and famous fish called the Tinapang Salinas produced by the townspeople and um, many of the residents here are subsistence fishers whose livelihoods depend on fishing and fish smoking. So as a way of helping the residents, um, the researchers want to introduce and try a new cost-effective way of fish smoking by making fuel briquettes with the aim to give an alternative solution to the municipality's problem on waste papers and agro-waste. So the general problem is to determine the efficacy of waste paper and coconut shell admixture briquette as fuel in tinapa making. And the specific problems are, um, number one, what are the results of ash and water content test of fuel briquette from waste paper and coconut shell admixture? Number two is, what are the results of ash and water content test of regular fry firewood in tinapa making? And the last one is, is there a significant difference on the sensory evaluation of tinapa when fuel briquette and wood is used? Now, let's look into the significance of this study. So, through this study, people will have an idea on the potential of waste paper and coconut shell as income generating form of recycling waste. So instead of relying solely on the use of coal or firewood which cause somehow, the success of this study will pave a way on recycling those ab above mentioned perennial pollutants. Now, we also have this one since the community of Salinas which is known of its tinapa could benefit on this study by having an alternative fuel instead of regular firewood. For the scope and limitation, the study will focus on recycling waste paper and coconut shell into fuel briquettes used in tinapa, tinapa making process and will compare its efficacy with regular firewood. So the ash content and the water content of fuel briquettes out of these admixtures as well as the firewood used in tinapa making will be assessed using the standard tests. The quality of tinapa cook with briquette and firewood will focus on its sensory evaluation at two weeks interval. So this time we will have the methodology which comprises the research design, research instrument as well as the statistical analysis. For the research design, the study follows post-test-only control group design in which there are two groups, the briquette made of waste paper and coconut shell admixtures, and the other group is firewood as fuel in tinapa making. The data to be collected, which is the ash content, the moisture, and the sensory evaluation, will then be subjected to statistical tools to determine whether the intervention is effective. The analysis of ash and water content, um, the Indian standard procedure will be administered for both types of energy source. So to determine the taste, the odor, the texture, and general appearance of tinapa as part of sensory evaluation, taste panels with six members who are familiar with tinapa will answer the sensory evaluation with five-point hedonic scale. 
Okay, for this, the statistical analysis, um, the proximate analysis for ash and moisture content for both the waste paper and coconut shell admixture briquette as well as firewood will follow the Indian standard procedure and further get the mean scores for its criterion. So one way ANOVA will be administered to identify if there is a significant difference between the two groups. And that's it. Again, my name is Christine May Valentin and that is the end of our presentation. Thank you and God bless.